I'm Katie, Katie, the ukulele lady. Katie, Katie, the ukulele lady. We can sing, we can play ukulele all day. That's right. We can sing and we can play the ukulele all day. Let's play. Hello, everybody. My name is Katie Brock of Katie Brock Music, and this is the very first inaugural ukulele or ukulele tutorial. This tutorial is for anyone who has never picked up a ukulele before. We're gonna go over a few basics today and work on our very first song called Lime in the Coconut. Uh, so, those of you who have done classes with me before, you are welcome to watch this video because guess what guys? A review is always helpful. And some of you may not remember much because it's been a while since we've been together. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna go over the parts of the ukulele. Then we are gonna practice learning the names of the strings of the ukulele. Then we're gonna learn how to hold the ukulele. And lastly, we will learn our very first song. It was only it takes one chord, and by the end of this ukulele tutorial, you should be able to play and sing it too. Here's hoping. Okay guys, let's get going. This is the head of the ukulele. This is the neck of the ukulele. This is the body of the ukulele and this little part here that holds the strings is called the bridge. These are the frets, frets. Can you say that? Frets. And these are the strings. And these guys are called the tuning pegs. But you know what, that's kind of a boring way to learn something so Let's sing a song about it. Okay, good idea, Katie. I know. Head and neck and bridge and body. Head and neck and bridge and body. Head and neck and bridge and body. These are the parts of the ukulele. Let's do it again. Head and neck and bridge and body. Head and neck and bridge and body. Head and neck and bridge and body. These are the parts of the ukulele. Tuning pegs and frets and strings. Tuning pegs and frets and strings. Tuning pegs and frets and strings. These are also ukulele things. Tuning pegs and frets and strings. Do, do. Tuning pegs and frets and strings. Tuning pegs and frets and strings. These are also ukulele things. We were singing in a totally different key, but that's okay. It's just music. It's no big deal. Okay, what did we say we're going to do next? Now you know the parts of the ukulele. You can practice that song by yourself. You can simply press rewind and do the song again if you want to. Coming up next is the names of the four ukulele strings. Okay, first of all, if you're holding the ukulele, this is my left hand. Yeah, this is my right hand. I wanna hold it this way. Sometimes people pick it up, they wanna hold this way. Mm -mm, that's not right. Put the neck in your left hand. And the body goes, I know I said I was gonna do the names of the strings, but I changed my mind. And the body of the ukulele goes flat against your tummy, like that. And you're gonna wanna make a little L shape with your left hand, and the neck just rests right in that cradle, just like that. And the neck is gonna be at this kind of angle, just heading up somewhere between your shoulder and your elbow, just shooting off at that angle. Now there's two things you can do here. If you're standing up, and you don't have a ukulele strap, it's a little bit trickier, but you're gonna hold it quite firm against your tummy area, and you're gonna crook it here, holding it tight, make your cradle, and uh, that's how you can play standing up. However, sitting down, you can rest this part of the ukulele just on your lap like that, which is probably how we're all gonna start, with sitting down. So. Just imagine what's happening down here, but I'm gonna hold it up like this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, this string right here, this is called the fourth string 
it's fourth from the bottom, but the note is G. G, 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 G. Can you take your thumb and just pluck that G string? G, 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 G. G, 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 G. This is the G string. Play with me. Moving right along to the third string. This is the C string. C, C. Pluck C with me. C. Do you see how I'm just taking my thumb? Just giving it a little pluck like that. C. Moving right along to the second string. This is the E string. E, 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 E. And then the first string, G, C, E, A, A, A. Now sometimes I struggle remembering the names of the strings and I have to sing to myself G, C, E, A in order to remember. But another handy little thing that helps remembering the names of the strings is G. You could think of the word good, because good starts with G. And the next one is C. You could think of the word cats, because cats also starts with C. Good, cats, and then E. How about eat? Eat, eat, and something that starts with A. Could be apples or applesauce or apricots or ants or another food that starts with a i don't know if i call ants food but you get the idea so it goes sounds something like this if we're going to pluck through all four strings g good cats eat applesauce good Cats eat applesauce. So it's important to know the names of the strings because when I describe to you how to play the cards, I might say something like, okay, put your pointer finger at the first fret on the A string. Sometimes I will also call it the first string. Something funny in ukulele is the first strings down here, it's from the bottom up that we count. One, two, three, four. This is the first string, second string, third string, fourth string. So let's just take a moment to practice the names of those strings again. Can you do this with me? G, C, E, A. Good cats eat applesauce. Good cats eat applesauce. One more time. Good cats eat applesauce. Beautiful. I can tell you are all doing really well at home. And I maybe should have said at the beginning of this video that this tutorial is mainly meant for kids. But grown-ups, if you're wanting to learn the ukulele, you are welcome to grab your own and sit right next to your child and learn right alongside them. All right, we now know the parts of the ukulele, the names of the strings. Maybe it's time to learn the very first chord. The chord is called C7. And you know what would have been great is if I had like a chord chart to hold up for you. Perhaps I will do that next video. But for now, I'm just gonna show you right on my ukulele. Take your pointer finger, that's this one. This is pointer, this is pointer. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. I gotta play. Okay, this is a little aside. Okay, remember the first string is A. We're gonna take your pointer finger and bam, right there, right up against that first fret. That's all you gotta do. And I'm sort of taking my thumb and I'm pressing quite hard on the back too. You don't have to press down super hard to make the chord, but you do, you do need to be firm. I know a lot of kids sometimes end up covering two strings. You only want to cover that one string and sometimes you got to go kind of up on the tip of your finger to make it work. Anyway, hold down there. And yes, boys and girls, I know 
it hurts a little bit. But I don't know if you can see my fingers. <laughs> but you do build up these calluses if you play a lot, and then it stops hurting, and it's worth it. You just gotta work through the pain. It's not that bad. Okay. Have you got that chord? Let's try strumming it. Just take your thumb and brush over the strings. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Strum. Strum. Let's strum together to a four count. One, two, three, four. So nice. One, two, three, four. Sounds good. One, two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now we're going to give the ukulele a little break because I'm going to teach you a little bit of the song just so it's in your head and you know it. Are you ready? Ya putta. I just want to sing it in the right key. You put the, I wasn't the right key. Okay, everybody. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink it all up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink it all up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink them all up. You put the lime in the coconut, drink it all up. That's the first part of the song. It's kind of a free form kind of song. You can really just riff on it and do it any way you want, but the next part goes like this. You put the lime in the coconut. You call the, call the doctor, wake him up. You say, doctor, what else can I take? You say, doctor, to relieve my belly ache. You say, doctor, what else can I take? You say, doctor, to relieve my belly ache. You put the lime in the coconut. You drink them both up. You put the lime in the coconut. You drink them both up. Lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. You put the lime in the coconut, call the doctor, wake him up. You say, doctor, what else can I take? You say, doctor, to relieve my belly ache. You say, doctor, what else can I take? You say, doctor, to relieve my belly ache. All right. Make sure you know that song and how it goes. If you need to rewind, and play that again and sing along with me till you feel comfortable with the song, that's a good idea. If you feel like, hey Katie, I got this. I'm ready to move on. Then pick your ukulele back up. There it is. Tight against your tummy. Add a nice angle out this way. Take your pointer finger. Oh, all of a sudden I have an accent. And put it right here and you kind of press it up against the fret. It's not right on the fret, but right up next to it. That's how you're going to get a good sound. And remember back here, your thumb is really pressed quite tight. We're going to just use our thumb. I also strum using this finger, uh, but for this slower song, we can just use our thumb. I'm going to play it through once and then I'm going to break it down for you guys, okay? Are you ready? I know you are. Here we go. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. You put the lime in the coconut, call the doctor, wake them up. You say, doctor, what else can I take? You say, doctor, to relieve his belly ache. You say, doctor, what else can I take? You say, doctor. To relieve my belly ache. There, that's all there is to it. So, if you play with me, holding down your chord. C7, this chord is called C7, 
C7, C7, this chord is called C7, yeah. That's the C7 slow jam. Sing it with me. C7, C7, this chord is called C7, 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 it's the C7 jam. Put the lime in the coconut and drink them both up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. So we're strumming on lime. Lime in the coconut on coke and drink them both up. So we're strumming on lime, coke, drink, Try it with me. Lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. Put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. Put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. Put the lime in the coconut, call the doctor, wake him up. You sing, doctor, what else can I take? You say, How's it going? Are you getting it? I hope so. Now that's a very simple way to play it. If you're like, oh my gosh, this is so boring, I need to up it. Then sometimes what we did in my ukulele class with the elementary school kids is we started like that. You put the lime in the coconut, and we sang it a bit faster too. That can make it more interesting. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. You put the lime in the coconut, call the doctor, wake them up. And then we would use our pointer finger and we'd go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You say, doctor, what else can I take? You say, doctor, to relieve my belly ache. I'm just going down, up. a bit much. If you are an absolute beginner, let's just start with the downward strum. And we will work up to the up down strum. All right, everybody, there you have it. That's your first song, Lime in the Coconut. Uh, thank you for joining me for this absolute beginner ukulele tutorial. And I will see you again another day. I hope you guys are having a great day at home. Mwah.